Okay, team, I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read this question. Two minutes on your own. Go ahead. Still, uh, if you're still listening to me, uh, pause me and finish reading. Okay, you're unfinished. You're you're done. I'm going to read it with you, and you can fast forward if you want to. A second grade uh, a second grade teacher plans to embed developmentally appropriate activities in classroom routines to support students' application of skills in capitalization and punctuation. Which of the following approaches would be most effective for this purpose? Now. When you read over these options here, right? Um, some of these things aren't really great opportunities to do uh, capitalization and punctuation, right? Like this one right here, C. A great opportunity is for students to engage with peers to share the importance of using capitalization and punctuation. And I just don't know exactly what that would look like. Are you asking them to talk about how great capitalization punctuation is. I, I don't know. I don't know if that is the way to, in, like during free time, partner up with a buddy and talk about capitalization and punctuation. I don't know if that's the way to do it. So I'm gonna cross that one off because that doesn't feel like it's a routine that would uh, work with capitalization and punctuation. How about this one right here? Encourage students to include appropriate capitalization and punctuation during free writing. Now, free writing um, is really an opportunity for them just to, to get out their ideas. And usually it's a time where that it allows the students to not really stress about this and that. So it kind of feels strange to encourage capitalization and punctuation in that process. So that's out too, right? Because free writing is meant for, you know, literally to not worry about this and that as you get out your ideas um not to say that you couldn't target it you know while you're doing free writing but i'm just saying in general you're the student is getting out their ideas and they're focused less on writing conventions and more on getting other ideas and when i say writing convention i'm talking about like the student's use of uh punctuation capitalization spelling so um you know Attending to writing conventions during free writing uh, kind of detracts from the free writing. So let's just cross that off. No, no, there's a D, but it's on this test. I chopped it off to fit it into the, the packet. If you want to go find out what D is, you can go to this test, the, the Science of Teaching Reading uh, number 15 and find it. Um, but for now, we just got B and C. How about A? It says here, ask students to identify and correct omitted punctuation and capitalization errors in morning message and discuss their findings as a, as a group and discussing the fi findings as a group. Team, that doesn't that sound right? Ask students to identify and correct omitted punctuation and capitalization errors in morning message. Team, that's like a note, that's like, up, yes. That's what you do. That's like one of the things you could do in morning message for a second grade class. It is, um, it is great appropriate, right? In second grade, you're working on your, your in your writing fluent in building your writing. Let's go back to this idea here. As you become more fluent as a writer, and your phrases become sentences, and your sentences get expanded. We start to attend to, um, as our writing gets better, we start to take our sentences and paragraphs and we start to look at things like um, conventions, organization, voice, idea, word choice, sentence fluency, but I'm gonna circle conventions. Conventions is like capitalization, punctuation, uh, spelling. So yes, as you add developmentally, second graders would definitely be working on that to build up their writing fluency, thumbs up. And where better to do that type of work than um, in morning message? Now, this is the stuff you would do morning message for kindergarten, work on like pop words, right? And reading, basic reading. But capitalization and punctuation could easily be embedded in morning message for like a second grade class. Look at this student here, circling those capital letters and the punctuation, right? 
So, so for this grade level, it's an appropriate activity, right? So that is why this is the answer. A is the answer. Team, I like this question a lot, and I like this test a lot too. I really, I really like it. So if you're taking the science of teaching reading, you got a good test. You got a solid test there. Um, you should, everyone should check it out. Whether you're in California or on the East Coast, you should check out this new test, okay? Uh, lots of good practice here, but the answer here is A, all right? All right, team, time to go to the next section. I'll see you there.